Oh, what a surprise this is. What a glorious surprise. I've never, ever played a Warhammer game. Prior to playing this game, I knew nothing of Warhammer. And now I've had a taste of greatness. I saw trailers for this game that looked too good to be true, but it had piqued my interest. And I'm pleased to say that not only does this game deliver, it is one of my favorite games of the year so far. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with this game, having completed it in just two sittings. So, what's so good about it? Let's talk about gameplay. This is basically Gears of War, but with a particular focus on gunplay as well as melee combat, and that's how it really distinguishes itself. This is a game you can play solo or co-op with two other friends, and you can tell from the encounter and level design that ideally you want to play this cooperatively. I however played the vast majority of this on my own and still had an incredible time. Gunplay is quite satisfying with a whole slew of weapons. You carry two weapons as is pretty standard nowadays. I didn't end up actually gravitating towards a favourite as I ended up cycling between weapons. You have variants of assault rifles, burst rifles, flamethrowers, sniper rifles, as well as secondary pistols. The gunplay on its own isn't that exemplary. It's just how it ties in with the melee combat that's quite interesting. The primary way you can get your health back in this game is either through finding health packs which on the harder difficulties are sparingly available or through carrying out executions and parrying plays a big part in this so in order to trigger those executions more readily you need to get your timing right. I love parrying in games which is why I really enjoyed games like Wolong Fallen Dynasty and Sekiro so this was right up my alley. The game throws a shit ton of enemies your way, and I mean a shit ton of enemies. So you just can't rely on shooting your way out because you have to eventually reload. And that's where the melee combat comes in. And it's just so satisfying carrying out violent executions in the middle of an insane battlefield with explosions and lasers and all sorts flying around you. This feels like you are literally in a sci-fi movie and it's just wonderful. The game's level design is generally excellent barring one level that I hated that involves a flamethrower and the encounter design is very solid too. You can tell some thought went into a lot of the skirmishes so things stay engaging. However I didn't find the boss battles particularly fun. They are bullet sponges and you just have to go through the ordeal of peppering them with bullets and then countering them when you can. The gameplay is actually quite basic. You're pushed into an encounter, loads of enemies, objectives typically involve you just pressing buttons and then shooting more enemies, but somehow it all works. And how does it work? It works because of its constituent parts coming together. These elements are what make Warhammer 40k Space Marines 2 such a joy to experience. Let's talk about the visuals. This game looks incredible. I played this on the Xbox Series X which is the best console version of the game and I played it in the performance mode. The visuals still look astounding and the frame rate for the most part holds up well but my god look at this. Is this the new baseline for gaming experiences? This isn't even an Unreal Engine 5 game or coming from a big AAA studio and it just looks spectacular. The variety of locales in this game looks stunning from dense forest areas to moody interiors with amazing lighting or crazy cityscapes with imposing designs and well skulls everywhere. Skulls on everything, on doors, on ships, on drones, even weird flying baby things is just an incredible art style and a theme that I've now discovered is called Grimdark. The whole game oozes atmosphere in this brutalistic imposing world with characters that look like an extension of it. And on top of that the game just throws armies of enemies at you whilst in the background you have everything going off. 
this is the kind of visual density that makes this a peak sci-fi gaming experience the likes of which i've imagined playing since i was a kid watching starship troopers and i was smiling from ear to ear for so many of the set pieces in this game and all this is accompanied with great sound design the epic orchestral scores in the background with dark militaristic themes work so well with the chatter in the game the weapons sound raw from your bolt pistols to your snipers i love the way some of the characters sounded some sounding more robotic than human the voice acting is also great it's just a mix of military and religious jargon but given the gravitas the universe demands it all works so well I didn't expect this to have a strong story, but I was surprised. I actually enjoyed the characters in this more than the last Gears of War. This is a no-nonsense testosterone fueled romp through a bleak dystopian future where there is only war with deep religious overtones, where fanatical devotion is a bare minimum requirement. Combine this with the contrast offered with advanced technology and it's just something very unique. There are some epic cutscenes in the game. Most of them run on the in-game engine, but there's also some CGI reserved for the really important plot points. And without offering spoilers, there are some really cool moments that I enjoyed without even knowing the deeper lore of the game. In addition to the campaign, the game has a PvP mode called Operations as well as PvP. I tried the PvP briefly and it was simple but still quite fun with the hook being unlocking those cool aesthetics for your space marines, primarily through challenges, which is quite rare to see these days. All in all, Warhammer 40k Space Marines is a visually stunning experience with epic set pieces, brutal combat and an unforgettable atmosphere. It combines satisfying gunplay with brutal melee combat in a way that feels fresh and immersive. Saber Interactive has truly outdone itself, delivering a game that's left me not just impressed, but genuinely excited about the future of the franchise. This isn't just another shooter for me, it's a full-on experience that raises the bar for what we can expect in terms of visual and auditory storytelling. The art style alone, grimdark, in all its skull-covered glory feels like a revelation. I didn't think I'd become a Warhammer fan, but here I am. Now you won't find me painting miniatures anytime soon, but you'll definitely catch me diving deeper into the universe. So whether you're a veteran of the Imperium or someone like me, new to the lore, this is a must play.